Hello my dear beautiful corpses, I'm Petar, your glorious lord and welcome to Corpse of Discovery. Apparently this game is really really weird and I don't know what's going on and I like it very much. I like those facts that weird stuff is happening and I'm liking it. Especially that stupid robot just thanking me for my service and thanking me for, you know, sacrificing my life just like that. And that my family will be well compensated. I knew it that they were mentioning the family because they would leave me alone here to die. Oh, wait. No. Don't you dare get me. Go away. Go away, you bastard. Mm, please. Now just pass through. Pass through. Don't stick around. Thank you. Go away. Okay, it is leaving. Excellent. We can continue. I'm not sure what to expect. What will happen? And what the hell is this? Scratch words? What? It says, in loving memory of our father, we wish we could have had more time. What is this? You're feeling faint again, maybe you just need to rest a bit. Okay, you must have blacked out, you still have a pounding headache. Okay, this radiation must be affecting you, messing with your brain. What was that? Aliens, man. Somehow you are back in the base, perhaps it was a medical bot, maybe it goes into storage when it's not in use. Maybe try something else to get a reward and make it back home. Major, huh. we trust you have had a successful landing. As you are just here for your final mission, please get down to the main computer to be briefed. Thank you. What? If you look for some exotic life forms, if you have discovered of ep if you have discoveries of epic proportions, the corp will have to send a shuttle and eat your poop. Hmm. You're doing this all for them. There has to be a way to collect the reward and still get home. It sounds like Ava Maria, sort of. I don't know. So what? I can do it every time, and different stuff will happen. New message. Hello. Oh. Hey, hope everything's going okay. I know we could really use the money, but I just wish this wasn't so involved. It just feels really long. The kids really miss you already, and it's, it's just hard doing this alone. You should be here with us. Oh well, hope to hear from you soon. Miss you. Hello, Dad. Mom got mad at me for sneaking ice cream when she was gone. But it turned out to be okay. But we're out of it, so. And bye, Dad. Love you. How old is she? What's going on? It seems like she, she grew up, so... Are we, like, not crazy, but in some alternate dimensions or something? Holy shit. I have no idea. Let's carry on over here. Maybe we can find something else that will be used. Aha! The, green, the, the greenhouse! The greenhouse... No, wait. Wait, was I not supposed to see the greenhouse? Ah, this is the greenhouse. So, maybe I can go into the material science research lab. Let's see. Let's see the eggs. The eggs, yes. Oh! The eggs are chicks. The chicks hatched. This tank is another self-sustaining ecosystem. Nice. Uh, the fish. Yeah, the fish grew up. It's a little bit different. Anything else over here? Geology room. Yeah, bullshit, bullshit. Let's carry on. Oh, let's see the green, the greenery. I wonder will it be like huge greenery or just, you know, a little bit grown up stuff. Oh, no, it didn't grow. What? Seems to be growing well. Lettuce is one of one more ideal plants because it grows back what you eat. Well, it kind of is growing, but it's still small. So maybe if I wake up like seven more times, then things are going to change. Nothing interactable here. We gotta do the same thing over and over again, I guess. Let's see. New discoveries are being made each day by our greatest explorers. This planet has been identified as having a high probability of being inhabited by complex life forms. 
please locate your AVA unit, and it will help you find and identify these life forms. Ah, I see. So first we Ferdinand used... Ferdinand Magellan's expedition was the first to circumnavigate the Earth and the first to navigate the Strait in South America connecting the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, and Magellan's crew discovered the Philippines to the west. Magellan exploration skills have been acknowledged in the naming of objects outside of Earth. The Magellan probe that surveyed Venus before space travel allowed it to be viewed firsthand. The Magellanic clouds now both fully map dwarf galaxies. The twin lunar craters on Earth's moon, Magellan's and Magellan's A, and the Martian crater of Magellan's. Magellan's crew were the first to note many new animals to Western society, including the penguin and guanco. Magellan's discoveries made him famous for all history. So I guess I do the mission and then I reset somehow, but everything I did before is still saved from the planet, right? Another mission? Aha, now we know more details, because I... Yeah, shut up, shut up. Same shit every time. So maybe this is a, maybe this is a different. No, no, no. It can't be a different person because it has the same brain. I can't. I don't know. Holy shit! This is a different planet. What the hell? Eva, explain yourself. What's happening? Hello. I am the AVA software version 721. I am here to help you complete the parameters of your mission. I can offer technical assistance and mission direction. Oh shit, I think I know what's happening. Retrieving mission and personal files. Hello Major, are you ready to begin our mission to find and document complex local life forms? My scanner has already found several, but we need more granularity. Major, please find the detector map tool and we can get started on this mission. We can depart whenever you are ready. Okay, thank you. Take the detector. Thank you very much. The detector map in your hands is quite a complicated machine. You can see where you are and the indicator where your objective is. My batteries have enough energy to assist you for a limited amount of time. So let's get going and see what we can find with the detector map tool. Alright, so I'm supposed to go over there, right? I think so. This planet looks kinda cool. I think I like it. Even though the optimization of the game is total shitness, so... The frame rate is a bit shit. Wait, what's the gravity like? Okay, the gravity is good. Holy shit, what's that over there? Jesus Christ, it, it looks... Evil. I'm not sure do I want to have business with evil things. Look at it. Whoa. Looks kind of awesome. Alright, we are approaching the designated area. The greenery is beautiful in this in this planet. On this planet. But I'm not sure what's going on. Because he keeps losing memories. Or he keeps reappearing into another man's body. or What? I'm not really sure what's going on. He keeps dying. Or disappearing or something like that. I'm not really sure. So, let's see. <laughs> Maybe we can figure out the story by the end of it. Or the deepness of the story. Let's see. Hello, life form. Where are you? Oh, the life form is up there, so... Let's go up. Oh, careful. You don't want to die. Don't want to die. Okay, so... Can I actually jump all the way over there? I'm pretty certain that I cannot. Okay, we gotta be very, very careful. Dropping to death is bad. There you go, excellent, and now we can get up to get the life form. The optimization is really, really bad. The lagging is quite intense, unfortunate. Careful, oh, sexy babies, oh, I cannot, good, thank you. There we go, hello life forms, 
I'll give this creature a temporary Latin name until you officially name it. Lapus Magna Auribus. This is a remarkable discovery. It is adorable. Look at those large eyes. Did you know that explorers who discover life forms get to name those life forms? When this life form is entered into the Universal Taxonomy Database, not only will your name be entered as the discoverer of record, but you can give it whatever name you want. You will always be remembered. Isn't that wonderful? It's the least the Corps can do for people such as yourself, who dare to achieve what most would never dream of. Here's a helpful update from your HR Corps. Subscribe to our new lecture series, The Greats, and hear talks from the legendary Corps explorers, such as Steve, Jazzy Steve Bell, Ephraim Purple, and Katie. To be the best, you must learn from the best. Okay. What now? I'm gonna find other life forms, I guess. So I want to call this one the big eye, the the big eyed, the big eared poop head. Big eyed, big eared poop head. If there's a Latin name for that, I would like to use it. The next animal seems to be in this area. Hopefully, it is a pretty animal that I can name something ugly, like dickhead. The next animal should be named Dickhead, regardless of what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it's up there, and not down here. Yeah, it's probably up there, so... How can I climb up there? Holy shit. Oh, and that evil thing is there as well. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm afraid of that evil thing. I don't want it to eat my face. My face is beautiful. I don't want it to get eaten. Can I jump all the way up there? I believe... Oh, I did jump. Nice. What's with the music? What's happening? Oh, here it is. Looks like the Grim Reaper. Holy crap. Holy shit. It looks awesome. I love it. it looks amazing. But it's probably evil, so let's disregard it. Or oh, what's this? Oh, shit. Oh shit, this is bad. This is bad? Okay, things are good. Excellent. It was a bad thing. Holy shit, the lag is real. It's very difficult to play normally with this lag. Oh, jump. Jump. Oh shit. Okay, good. Things are good. But I don't think any of this shit is real. Where's the Gygus Ossicolatum Quatora? This one is huge. Oh, holy shit, here it is. I'm not saying you should take off your helmet, but my olfactory senses indicate you are really missing out on the scent it is emitting. I have done a statistical analysis of explorers who have discovered and named new life forms all across the galaxy. Do you know what they have in common? A majority of them were single. They did not have domestic or life partners, children or other dependents. I wonder if this correlation is significant. Does having a family prevent you from achieving something glorious? Major, do you think about what you might be able to accomplish if your thoughts did not constantly return to those people you left behind on Earth who depend on you? Holy shit, I actually agree with this. I was actually talking about this today on my live stream. You know how people with families are... Uh, well, it's okay to have a family, but I think it's selfish. I think it's a selfish thing to focus all of your time and energy onto a family, onto like three people, instead of doing something that can possibly benefit the men, the humankind a bit more. You know, I was talking about that today. So, it's kind of convenient, except for this stupid, stupid shitty lag that the game has. Horribly optimized, horribly. It's terrible. The next life form is right here. Where is it? Is it, a, is it a true dickhead? Is this life form a dickhead? Hopefully it is. The lag. Oh, live through the lag. Live. Holy shit. What is this? Myelis Ornatus Lucius. Yikes. Don't want to get too close to this major. Looks quite dangerous. Lucky for you, you can still enjoy its majestic demeanor from a distance. After our previous conversation in my spare cycles, I did additional statistical analysis on historical data, and I found something that I think is interesting and relevant to the mission as well as future missions. 
I was trying to find records of people who became famous and celebrated for their devotion to their family, and I was not able to find very many. In fact, most of the results returned by my search were of fictional characters featured in situation comedies broadcast on television during the second half of the 20th century. They sure don't make them like that anymore, do they, Major? <laughs> Might start to understand the, the deepness of the story. Or at least the beginning of the deepness of the story. We gotta get over there on the other side. But I'm actually going to pause it here. This is going to be a short episode because... Uh, I think I'm going to pause it here because I just don't want to play more currently, so that is my decision. We're going to continue next time. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I think I'm starting to understand how the game will probably try to force me to start believing uh, that not having a family is better because I will be able to achieve more. You know, I think that that's the, the game, that's what they, the game wants to tell me. But I think we are going to see later. I am going to actually try to play in 720p on 30 FPS because the game's optimization is absolutely dreadful. So the next episode will probably be at a lower resolution because as much as I like higher resolution, I I much more prefer good frame rate. So that would be all for now, my dear beautiful bastard. I will see you next time.